My name is Nassim Durali. Um, I am a fourth year at UCSD and my major is human biology. I was working at North Terrace. Um, it is stationed on like Camp Pendleton and it was definitely a very different experience for me. Like I had never worked with like military populations at all and especially the fact that in the EDS lecture like we were learning about how to like actually just how to open our minds more to like these type of these types of communities I liked how like what you learned in lecture translated to like what you saw at your school site the last day was really memorable for me because I had two, I was assigned two mentees right but like as I was leaving like I had made them cupcakes and it was like super ex like they were super happy and like as I was leaving like a bunch of kids who were not my mentees came and hugged me and said oh I'm gonna miss you and it's just like I guess just having like a mentor in the classroom it's not like you're limited to just interacting with your mentees you're gonna interact with the whole classroom and that's what I really liked about it that you know I felt like I was a part of the classroom after 10 weeks. I think especially after I took them to UCSD, or I took Kylie to UCSD and I took her to the Birch Aquarium, all of a sudden like this shy girl turned into this like super talkative, um, like so interested girl. It was just nice to see her like kind of break out of her shell because she was the type of girl who, you know, like let her hair hang in front of her face and like, um, yeah. So I thought that building that relationship, like you have to understand that they don't trust you and they don't know you until you really open yourself up to them as well. I think it really opened my eyes to the difference between like having a tutor and have or being a tutor and being a mentor because that distinction is made really clear like at the beginning of this PAL course that I took. Um, and so I had been used to just tutoring, you know, helping them academically, but I realized like the role of a mentor is so much more like you're help like listening to their problems you're helping them when they get in trouble or if they're like upset about something so it's a lot of like social and emotional guidance as well and so it really made me reflect on like the mentors that I've had in the past and like made me really thankful because I feel like like a mentor is so much more impactful on your life versus like someone who's only going to help you with like one subject <laughs> everyone in EDS is like why are you trying to become a doctor and I'm like but wait let me explain to you so um, I want to go into primary care and primary care is like to me it feels like you know that that's the doctor that you see first that's the doctor you build a long-term relationship with and that's kind of the philosophy behind PAL is that you're building a relationship with the student um, in the same way that you could build a relationship with a recurring patient and I want to go into pediatrics as well and so I love working with kids and just I feel like you know when I've shadowed a pediatrician before it's not that she just asked like oh you're feeling sick like how can we make this better she's like oh can you read this book to me can you count for me can you draw like a stick person on the paper just so she's like kind of looking at very different aspects of like the kids life and I feel like you know learning about kids in both like an academic environment and a non-academic environment and a medical environment like it's very important to like holistically understand someone so I feel like Pal has really like showed me that there's more to a kid than just like how he or she acts in a classroom it's really so many other factors. I would say keep an open mind, like don't be discouraged initially, especially because pal, you're assigned to a mentee or you're assigned to a classroom. Um, just give it time, like relationships take time, um, becoming closer to a student takes time and have an open mind and also I would suggest that you relate it back to your own experience in education and how maybe your experience is different or similar because I feel like that's the most powerful thing you can do is that looking at okay this is what I experienced this is what they're experiencing how can I like ref like uh, relate what I learned to how I'm like take carrying out my mentoring